Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In today's video, I'm going to install and review this Lumeri outdoor holiday uh, lighting system. It's a permanent holiday lighting system. And uh, as you can see, it's RGB and you can control it with your phone. It has lots of features. Um, you can control um, the motion and the color of the lights using the app. You can use pre-programmed sequences or program your own sequences. Um, you can sync it to music. You can set it on timers, and in addition to being holiday lights, it can also be used just as normal landscape or accent lighting for your home. So what I want to do is I'm going to dig into this, show you what comes in the package, I'll install it on my home, show you how it looks on my house, and then come back at the end and give you my impressions. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about these, stick around. Special thanks to Lou Mary for sending me this review unit. Um, I am not being compensated for this review, but they did send this set of lights free of charge for me to keep. So keep that in mind when I'm doing my review, but I still try to be as unbiased as possible and point out flaws where I see them. So this is the nice package that the lights come in. It's a nice full color package. Um, you know, they put a lot of uh, effort into the outside packaging, so you can hope that they put effort in the actual product as well. It comes with some installation instructions here and then it comes with a little booklet for how to use the app. And that's where the bulk of the functionality of this system comes from, is from the app. This is a 118 foot kit that has 80 lights so you approximately are getting about one light every 16 inches on your house, which doesn't seem like a lot if you'd compare it to, let's say, like holiday lights. But these lights are larger than holiday lights. And so, <clears throat> and so it should be adequate. So you, you get two packages of these long strings of light so I think this would probably be this will be just under 60 feet of lights here and then there's another one here and then this is the receiver module right here and you have your power supply right here and it's pretty hefty you can tell it's waterproof so suitable for outdoor use, of course. Here's some extensions for connecting the two sets of lights. And then you get these clips. This is the wire management. Um, so you get these clips that with adhesive backed and and I guess that's the big the big thing, right? The way that you attach these lights to the house is you would normally attach them up under the soffits of your home. And these lights have <clears throat> 3M tape on the back of each one and that's how they're attached so semi-permanent it'll be difficult to uh, take them down once you put them up but the idea is you shouldn't have to take them down what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull everything out and hook it up to power make sure everything works before I go through the trouble of installing it on my house and if everything works I'll start installing these guys. Okay, now that I've dug into these a little bit deeper, I do see that each bundle of lights is actually two strings of lights um, attached to each other. So you have a total of four, approximately 30 foot strings of lights, which total 80 lights. They have these pigtail ends on them. You just need to kind of, um, you know, attach them together. They also provide um, an extension, so I was wondering how I was going, with such a short cord, how was I going to get the power supply up to the lights? Well, they solved that um, by giving you a long enough extension to get, just to get the power up to the lights. And then I can tuck this behind a bush, 
or maybe inside, right inside a garage door or something like that. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Let's see what we got here. I got some lights, but not all the lights. All right, I don't know what happened, but they all are working. Clicking the button, so you do have a manual control. You can change the color of the lights with some presets with this clicker. Excuse my furnace running in the background. So now that I know that these work, let's go ahead and get them installed. And I will also go over in a voiceover the details about the app that controls them. Installing the lights couldn't be more straightforward. In fact, the difficulty of the installation depends directly on how high and how complex your roof line is. As you can see, the peak of my roof is about 20 feet high, so this job is not for the faint of heart. Once you get into position, all you have to do is peel the backing off the 3M tape on the back of the light and stick it to the soffit. I used a piece of wood cut down to 3 inches to use as a spacer to make sure all the lights were in equal distance from the wall. The wire clips are just as easy to install. Just peel and stick. I really didn't feel like the wire clips were necessary, but since they were provided, I decided to install them. One important thing to do before you install these lights is to make sure the surface you are attaching to is clean and dry. 3M tape is very strong, but if you stick it to a dirty surface, it will not last. I had just enough lights to cover the entire front of my house and I was able to run the extension down the edge of one of my garage doors and tuck everything inside the garage. This keeps the power supply and controller out of the weather, but I am confident that they are waterproof enough to be kept outside if necessary. The app can be a little intimidating at first and there's a little bit of a learning curve. Tabs at the bottom give you access to the most commonly used settings. The first tab is the bulb tab where you can set the static color of the light string. You can easily change the color of the entire string of lights by using the fill mode in the bulb tab. You can choose one of 16 million available colors as well as several shades of white. Click on the scribble icon and you can designate a different color to specific portions of the light and create your own custom look. The next tab I will call the palette tab. In it you will find various pre-programmed scenes which incorporate color changes and motion. There are several to choose from and they are grouped in categories to help you locate the season, holiday, or mood you are looking for. In the upper right hand corner you can click the add button to create your own scene. You can control the finest detail down to the motion of the lights and how and when the color changes. I haven't spent a lot of time in this mode yet but it looks like it is very customizable. The third tab is music mode, and it uses your phone's microphone to listen for sound, and then that translate into motion and color in the lights. I think this would be more useful in a backyard setting where you would be entertaining neighbors or guests. 
Finally, under the settings tab, you can set custom timers for the lights. Currently, the only option for timer actions is to either turn on or turn off the lights. The lights remember their last settings and will turn back on in the last mode it was in. I'm not sure if Lumary plans on expanding on the types of actions available in the timers, but it would be cool to have the lights turn to fireworks mode at the stroke of midnight on New Year's or something like that. Maybe it will become available in a future update. Let me go over a couple of things that I was impressed with about the Lumeri permanent holiday lighting system. First of all, I have to make a note about the quality of the product. A lot of times, um, in order to meet a certain price point, certain corners are cut, and you can see that in the overall quality of the product. That is not the case with the Lumeri product. The lights themselves are very sturdy. They're very solid lights and they're very bright. The wiring that goes between them is nice and flexible and it seems to be of a high quality wire. It doesn't have that plasticky smell and that plasticky feel that you can get on on cheaper wires. On top of that all the connections were screw connections and they had o-rings and that made them weatherproof and this whole system is completely weatherproof so you can install it outdoors in all of the rain and snow and whatever else you may experience in your area and be confident that at that weather is not going to get inside the connections and cause problems with your lighting system. The hardware that's been provided is also a very high quality. They give you multiple ways that you can secure the lights to your house and they include not only sticky pads but 3M sticky pads which are the highest quality sticky pads as well as stainless steel screws in case you want to have that little extra bit of security by screwing the wire hangers up into your soffits or wherever you may attach them. I would have to say that Lumeri gets very high marks for the quality of the product that they're selling. Number two is the ease of installation. You can't get much simpler than the installation and like I said everything was provided so you literally all you have to do is peel off the backing to the adhesive, attach it to where you're going to attach it. Usually you're going to attach it to the underside of your roof on the soffit and then move on to the next one. And they provide those clips that uh, also help hold up the wires in between but I really felt like that might have been a little overkill. I, I installed every single one just in case, but I didn't really see any um, excess sag or any way that those wires in between the light pods would be hanging down and pulling down on the lights. Once you're done sticking up all of your lights, you literally just screw in the, the controller and the power supply and plug it into the wall, and it's that easy. I try to be as fair as I can with review videos and I have to be honest with you, I found it very hard to find something wrong with this product. If I really had to stretch and pick something, I might say that the app is not as polished as it could be. You have lots and lots of options and there's a whole lot of things uh, that you can do and it's very versatile and it's uh, about as programmable as you can get with a, a light set like this, um, but you can't just jump in and get, you know, programming your own custom light sequences without a little bit of practice, a little bit of time, um, and it may not be the most user friendly. However, I think the folks over at Lumeri understood that hurdle, the steep learning curve with the app, and so they did provide a 30 page user manual that covers all of the aspects of the app as well as using the physical remote control and using um, smart services such as Alexa and Google Assistant to control your lights, which is a feature that I haven't even mentioned yet. Yes, these lights have voice control that is compatible with Google Assistant and Alexa, which I think is awesome. I have not set it up yet. I'm currently using the timer and so it's simple enough. The timer turns the lights on at 5 p.m. and it turns them off at 10 p.m. And I'm using them as ambient lighting right now. And when a holiday comes around, like the next holiday is going to be St. Patrick's Day, you can bet that my house will be lit up uh, green for that holiday when it comes up. So that is my review of the Lumeri 
permanent outdoor lights. And I hope this video has done a good job at um, portraying exactly how good of a product this is. I've reviewed lots of lighting products in the past, and this is by far the best lighting, smart lighting product that I've done. I mean, I've done some LED lights, which are just plug in and turn on lights, and they've been great quality. But as far as smart devices or RGB devices go, this is uh, above and beyond anything I've ever tested. So that wraps it up for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.